I lost my mom four years ago, mm. 96 years old. And I thought that was the worst thing ever happened to me. But this is worse. Mm. It's my baby girl. The father of one of the victims of Sunday's mass shooting remembers his daughter, and he has a message for those who know who the killer is. His daughter, Felicia Council, was one of two women murdered at a barbecue in Maplewood Park. I spoke to Felicia's father exclusively, and you'll hear our conversation in a minute. But first, we carefully analyzed video of the shooting and counted every shot. Watch this. Forty-two shots in 39 seconds. Those flying bullets seemingly fired with little regard for human life killed two people. One of those people was Felicia Council. She was a sister, a friend, a daughter, and to her father, his baby girl. He's flying to Rochester from out of state this week to help the family plan a funeral for his youngest child, something he says is unimaginable. But instead of focusing on how she died, he wants others to appreciate how she lived. Smart, hardworking, generous. That's how Alex Council describes his youngest daughter. It's my baby girl. You know, I'm not supposed to be bearing her. She's supposed to be bearing me. Felicia Council was 33 years old, but to her dad, she'll always be this little girl. She grew up a very happy girl. Uh, like I said, she always um, like be around her dad. The two had a relationship not diminished by distance. When Alex moved to Atlanta, then to Palm Beach, he says their bond only strengthened. She would come see me every summer. Me and her mom had agreement. She'd come see me every summer. I'd get her for a holiday sometime. And um, that was the routine for us. One of his favorite memories was when Felicia secretly recorded this TikTok video. And she said, Dad, just stand. Be, when, I, when I say move to the side, just move to the side and smile. To his surprise, she later posted the video with a message he now cherishes. It said, um, every spoiled daughter, and then when I move to the side, I come out and smile, and it says, deserves a bald head daddy. He says his daughter's generous spirit led her to her chosen profession of working with special needs kids. And in the midst of his own grief, he's thinking of them. She worked with these kids, autism, and over 10 years, and their kids just love her. So when I come to Florida, I mean, come to Rochester, I have to go by to school because I'm going to have to console those kids. He says Felicia had gone to the barbecue to support her stepbrother's efforts to host a family-friendly community event. And this, he says, was the act of those with no regard for human life. He has a message for those who saw something, who know something, and have remained silent. Some of you may not want to do it because you have it in your heart in your mind that that's snitching. And I want to let you know it's not. He asks that those who know something to remember what's been lost, two precious lives, one of whom he calls his baby girl. So I would say to you that, no, by Chester, that you lost a very precious angel. And you lost an angel. And we need to find out who did this crime so it won't happen again. Felicia worked with special needs children at a hillside group home for 10 years. And while she had no children, her dad says she loved those kids like her own. Hillside leaders told me today that they're providing emotional support for the children and planting a tree in Felicia's memory. 